Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and after I made my video over the Ortomaster Air Assist that I created, uh, I got some questions on how I did the thread on the inside of this Air Assist. Uh, this thread is made so that you can use just a simple 3D printing nozzle, uh, a nozzle for your 3D printer, uh, inside this Air Assist. And uh, well, I'll show you how I did this. So first of all, let me show you that uh, this thread is already inside this air assist part that I printed. And uh, yes, it's, it's a printed thread, so it's not made afterwards with a tap or something like that. It's just a, uh, a, a printed thread that I already made uh, when I was designing the part. And uh, this 6mm nozzle, well, it just fits in. It's very easy to to place you can just use your hands to yeah to screw it in like yeah like this so it's a really easy part to to use now what happens is drawn here um, this black part is your nozzle and uh, that nozzle is oozing out filament and uh, the, the uh, tolerances uh, are seen in the opening size of that nozzle. So the opening is from here to here. This is the gap. And uh, then when the filament flows out, uh, it has a 0.2 millimeter tolerance that way and a 0.2 millimeter tolerance that way. As you can see over here, the, the red is the filament and it comes out of the nozzle and will be laid down here on that 3D printer bed or on, on another layer of 3D printing filament. Now, your nozzle is 0.4 millimeters wide, as, at least that is what we are assuming at this moment. And then from that calculated center line, there is a 0.2 millimeter spread both ways. And this is the spread that we have to, to calculate. So basically what we see now is uh, the, the thread on the inside and there are three parts of this thread which are really important. The first part is the top. This is the top side of the thread. Then you cut the side and then you cut the bottom which is over here. Now from here to here this is a six millimeter thread so uh, this is the normal ISO standard for a six millimeter thread but we have to calculate the tolerances for that 3D print. And we know we have to take away 0.1 millimeter from all the sides. Now, this is what we are going to do. I'm going to press the Q on my keyboard, which gives me the press pull command. And I'm going to select this face, but I'm also going to select this face over here. My computer is a bit slow. But as you can see, we got now both the top and the bottom selected. And I'm going to take away from the top and the bottom 0.1 millimeter. But now I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it the wrong side. There has to be a minus in front of it. So minus 0.1 millimeter. And as you can see, it now perfectly uh, took away 0.1 millimeter from the top and also from the bottom. Now I'm going to cancel this because I'm also going to see, uh, show you how you can do it separately. So again, Q for press pull. I only choose the top and I do uh, minus 0.1, enter. Again, press pull, but now for the bottom part. And again, minus 0.1. So I did that in one, uh, one single movement. Now what happens is that because we took away the tolerance for the top and the bottom of the thread, we also took away this part, this, this front part. And you can see it over here. Now it's still here, but it's very, very minimal. And just the thing we have to do now is again hit press and pull. So again Q, take this one and again do uh, minus 0 0.1. 
And what we'll be left with now is that uh, tolerance taken away from the inside of the tread. So here we've got 0.1 millimeter removed, here we got 0.1 millimeter removed, but we also made that hole just a little bit wider. Now, there is another thing which you can do to make it easier uh, with your hands to, uh, yeah, to, to uh, insert that, uh, that screw that you are going to use inside this thread. But first let me take away the inspector. I'm going to the section analysis again and I'm going to yeah, just take this away so we see everything. And we've got the part with the thread already inside. Um, now, just for making it easier to insert the thread, I'm going to use a fillet, so S fillet, on the body, and I'm going to select the side faces over here, which has to be selected all uh, separately, because it's, it's not one single rounding anymore. And uh, as you can see, I can now give a number to that. And I'm just making an opening of uh, 0.5 millimeters, so half a millimeter in. Now, by doing this, uh, only on the top of this, this thread, uh, it has a little bit of a uh, yeah, flattened curve, which makes it easier to insert your screw inside this thread. And then after you printed it, it will look like this. And of course you have to be careful when inserting a screw in a thread like this. Uh, but yeah, it, it's not that difficult to do it. So uh, I'm just taking the nozzle, which has a 6 mm thread size. And by hand I can now yeah, insert that nozzle inside the thread and I have to use a little force but it's, it's not that much and if in the end it's going a little bit too, yeah, too strong then I just use the pliers to insert it and as you can see over here I hope the camera focuses correctly on it uh, here, here we are as you can see over here this is the way how I did it now of course this 0.4 millimeter opening in this nozzle is not big enough for this air assist. Uh, so I have to make the opening a bit wider. Uh, I just use this type of nozzles. You can of course buy new nozzles and have them uh, supplied to you, to you with an opening of 1 millimeter. But this is not what I did. I just took my Dremel and a drill and I uh, widened that opening. Uh, to one millimeter. Now this is how I made this air assist uh, with the thread on the inside so you can put in a 3D printing nozzle. Uh, I hope you find this an instructional video and uh, well I hope that you learned something and uh, if so well please hit that like button, uh, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and I hope to see you next time when I make a new video. Thanks for watching and bye bye!